Hey YouTube, how you doing? Big E here, how's everything? And welcome to another movie review. This movie today I will be reviewing is a really good classic. It's, in my opinion, it's a, it, it's a great movie. It's very funny. And if you're a fan of like old 90s Nickelodeon, like the old Nicktoons like Rugrats and Keenan and Kel and all that and Doug and the old Nick game shows and everything... Well, today I'm in that kind of that category. Today's movie we're going to be reviewing. This is also a 25th anniversary review of one of my hit favorite movies of all Nickelodeon movies of all time. Um, it's a comedy. It's really funny. Good Burger, released by Paramount Pictures and Nickelodeon Movies. It's a it's a Tolan Robbins production. It was released in the summer of 1997, and um. It stars Kenan Thompson, Kenan Thompson and Kel Mitchell. Um, this is based on the Good Burgers, based on the Good Burger skits on the old Nickelodeon hit series, All That. And Kenan Thompson and Kel Mitchell, aka best known as Kenan and Kel, you'd see him on All That. You'd see, him, I remember seeing him on All That. I remember seeing him on Kenan and Kel. Oh, here it goes, and I remember them as the as panelists on the old celebrity Nick game show figure it out we get slimed er, 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 er. the secret slime action yep this movie um it didn't really do that too good from critics but um it received mixed reception from critics but it was a commercial success it grossed 23.7 million dollars against a budget of 8.5 million dollars in the years since its release it garnered a cult following particularly among millennials like me who grew up with the film and the all that television series and i i loved i remember i have memories of watching them on all that and keenan and cal they were so funny and i were like coach Creton, super dude repair man i'm repair man 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 that was cal mitchell's care and coach Creton was cal uh, cal was coach mitchell was coach Creton, the sad miserable gym teacher coach who always hated everything that I'm Coach Creighton, and I hate all of you, even my sad, miserable, wasted life. In that, oh, the life I live is sad. He's always getting hurt. He's like, he's like, hey, come on, stop running. I have so many memories of watching, watching old, old junk. That was, but it was good junk. Yeah. And this is also this movie, Good Burgers, from the creators of um, all that and Keenan and Cal. Um, it's directed by Brian Robbins, written by Dan Schneider, who's also plays the Good Burger boss in this movie. It's also directed by some guy named Heath Seifert. I have no idea; never really heard much of him. Um, and this is also written by all that stage manager Kevin Coppolo. He makes a guest. He also is makes a cameo in this as a as a clown. Where their car broke down, but as I was saying, um, the movie didn't do really do it didn't do too good. But um, the film it was filmed it it took place in six weeks. It was it was filmed between March 9th to April twenty first of nineteen ninety seven. It was filmed in California and um, um at a restaurant most of its scenes were recorded along glendora avenue in west covina california and included a restaurant currently known as peter l's loco across the road from peter l, l. loco where mondo burger um was located in the movie um put that kurt boswell character i did not like kurt in that in that movie um the character um where he it's it's a family dentistry now called West Covina Family Dentistry. Yep. And the it has a um on Rotten Tomatoes um a 33% based on 42 reviews given the average rating of 4.3 out of 10. But I think it deserves more than that. Um This DVD, and this DVD does not have any special features except subtitles and everything. I kind of like wish it had. This is a two, the 2003 
DVD. Um, I kind of wish it would like have the original theatrical trailer, but it has um, has this on it though. With um the where it shows the um chapter selection and everything and look at the DVD right there. Yep. But I think it deserves better. I really because I really love the film. It made me it made me laugh. The movie just made me laugh. That's all it did. And on IMDb, um, it has a 5.7 out of a 10. I really think it deserves better than that. Um, I just don't know. But um, I, re I like the movie, I like the songs, I like the characters, but I could not stand Kurt. But I'll explain that in a minute. Um... On the first summer, this movie starts on, yep, um, it's about a kid named, we know Kel Mitchell, he's Ed, he's like, Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger, can I take your order? <laughs> One Good Burger coming up, and that, I'm a dude, he's a dude, she's a dude, cause we're all dudes, hey, I'm a dude, he's a dude, she's a dude, cause we're all dudes, hey. Yep. It, um, well, it starts out, the movie is about a kid named Dexter Reed, Keenan Thompson, pl played by Keenan Thompson. Um, on the, um, he's a slacker student. At high, he takes his mother's sports car on a joyride while she's away on a business trip. And um, he's riding with some kid named Jay, played by Sister Sister star. Marquise Houston, um, I remember him on the old sitcom Sister Sister with twins Tia and Tamara Mari, um, um, and their little brother Taj Mari, who guest starred on the show once, and so, and they made some guest appearances on Full House. Um, um, I the, I remember when Tia and Tamara Mari used to go to Marquise Houston, go home, Roger. <laughs> Boy, those are the good '90s days. Yep, as I was saying, he Keenan takes it um goes on a business trip. His mom goes on a business trip, Dexter's and then he's on his way then he he's on he's on his way home and then Ed's making a delivery. He's on roller skates and then Ed didn't I guess didn't see where he was going and then um um and then he hit the um then Dexter accidentally hit the car, hit the hit Mr. Wheat's car in the airbag flow, and Mr. Wheat, played by Sinbad, he's like, "My Afro, my Afro," and um, he looks at um, Sinbad, like at Sinbad, and Sinbad looks at, at Dexter, and Dexter's saying his all 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 that, and Keenan and Kel saying, "Why?" <laughs> and Ed, and Mr. Wheat is complaining about the. He's like. Brother Reed, you messed up my afro. He gets out of the passenger side of this infinity that um, Dexter accidentally hit. And then Marquise Houston's character just runs away he, on foot. He's like, and while and Mr. Wheat was complaining, he's yelling, Ow, oh, I didn't think I was going to run into you, Summer. When I left school today, I didn't think he was going to just run into me like this. You in trouble, young man. You, and he's like, he's like what? Try, and, and Dexter's trying to explain to him that it wasn't his fault. It was it was Ed on the rollerblades. And De and he was trying to, and then Mr. Wheat's like, I don't want to hear it. I don't want it. He's like, how much that car cost me? Dexter going, no. And Ed, and Mr. Wheat grabs him by the his collar. He's like, that's a $22,000 car. $22,000. And that's just the base price. He's like, check out the chrome. See, I waited four weeks for the chrome. You can't get chrome wheels at base price. See that leather? That's Detroit leather. That's Detroit leather. You got to order Detroit leather from Detroit. Huh? What's that tell you? He's like, they always get you with them extras. And then Mr. Wheat asks him for his driver's license and car and insurance. Dexter didn't have it. No insurance, no driver's license, nothing. And um, he was De Dexter was in danger of going to jail, and 
Mr. Wheat threatened to call the cops, and um, he was ready to go grab. And Dexter stopped him. He's like, "Please don't call the police! Don't call the police!" He's like, "I was ready." He's like, "Let me fix it! Let me fix it! Let me fix it!" Mr. Wheat agreed, and he's like, "I'll let you fix the car." And and he gave and he gave him the mechanic gave him the bill, body shop guy, and and it was not cheap. It was like he's like. Nineteen hundred dollars? I have nineteen hundred dollars, and then he decided he took a summer job instead, saved his butt, and then <laughs> Good Burger. Yeah, he went. He got a job at the new Mondo Burger across the street, threatening to take down Good Burger uh, to put Good Burger out of business and Ed Dexter's making a um, sandwich, a burger sandwich, and he's struggling and Kurt's up his butt and he's like blowing whistles like <sighs> Ed and that, you, who, you, look at this mat. And he's like, he's like, just be quiet, shut up. And he's like, every time I watch that movie, watch that, I've watched that movie, I, sometimes when I see Kurt's character, I'm like, I can't stand guys like him. <laughs> My dad, when he always watched that, we always watch that. He's always like, <laughs> and um, yeah, and, and there was this the where Dexter gets fired when Kurt was making an announcement, and he's like, "I'm fully stoked to be in every charge of every single one of you." In two years, Mondo Burger is going to be the biggest burger chain on this planet oh we have to be we have to put our other competitor out of business across the street good burger <laughs> and keenan's looking at him he's like and <laughs> kurt going from now on your life is mondo burger you can forget about your friends you can forget about your family because kurt is now both your mother and your father um and and <laughs> dexter's like kurt must look awfully strange nick it and Kurt's going, who said that? Who talked while Kurt was talking? The guy's like, one of Kurt's henchmen goes, it was him. He And he's like, you think you're funny, don't you? You know what? Mondo Burger, there are no comedians. You mess with Kurt and you go into the grinder. Every, me and my dad, we watched that scene. My dad's version when Kurt goes, who said that? Who talked while Kurt was talking? My dad go, I did, you little twerp. Sometimes he say twerp or weasel. He go, I did, you little weasel. What are you going to do about it? And my dad, that you mess with Kurt and you go into the grinder. My dad's version going, look at me, face. I am the grinder. My name is first name, middle name, the grinder, last name. I was, it could, and, but then after that, um, Dexter was fired and everything and, um, Oh boy, let's see. He and then Kurt and then um then Dexter meets Ed, who he thought looked familiar to him, but he didn't. I'll explain that in a minute. Um um he ends up get Dexter ends up getting a job at Good Burger instead. Um there he meets and befriends we know Ed, the dim-witted thing, guy. Um, we know how Ed is, and that uh, no. Between the, watching him in the movie, Good Burger movie, and the Good Burger skits on all that, we know how dim-witted and dumb, funny though he is. Um, um, he befriends Ed and the uh, and its other employees, and neither of that. Um, well, and then, yeah, and then. Mondo Burger opens and everything opens for business and there's like at least a million customers while Good Burger had no customers and everything and um while well, before they were opening Ed, Kurt and his henchmen were going to um visit Ed, um Good Burger and told him that Good Burger's going out of business soon so get ready and um and they see Dexter working at Good Burger and Dexter's like um and Dexter's like, look, Ed, it's the, while well, Kurt said, hey, look, it's the reject. And Dexter goes, Dexter goes, um, look, Ed, it's the Mondo Idiots. And Ed going, nice to meet you, Mondo Idiots. I'm Ed. And Kurt going, why, Ed, you better watch your butt, man. And then Ed, and then Ed's like, okay. He went like this, like this. 
He thought he thought Kurt meant looking at it, watching his butt, his rib. But he meant watch your watch your butt is what is meaning. Watch what comes out of your mouth. Watch what you say. That's what Kurt meant. And um, Dexter's car. Um, yeah, and while they had while they were ready to go home and everything, Ed. Um, Ed was on his rollerblades. He asked Dexter to hang out with him until it rung a bell to Dexter that he was the one that caused Dexter's accident. He hit, and then he hit Otis, played by the late great Abe Vigoda. May he rest in peace, the old man. Um, 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 but and while Ed was, he found out Ed was um the cause of his accident. He's like. You're the reason I owe 1900 bucks. You're the reason that my mother found out I was driving without a license. You cost me a fortune, man. You wrecked my summer. You ruined my life. And then, um... And, um... And then, um, Dexter didn't want anything to do with him. And to, but then the next day, I guess they made up for it when Ed started to create his own sauce and everything, um... When they were being threatened by the um, good threatened by good Good Burger's destruction by Mondo Burger, um, the grand opening of Mondo Burger, um, and their oversized burgers, um, everybody, even Mr. Bailey, played by Dan Schneider, um, tried it. Even this stars Nickelodeon's All That's um, Josh Server. He plays Fizz in that movie, and um, he tried it and he liked it. Otis, every all the Good Burgers employee try it, and and he's like, Good Burgers back in business. Let he's like Ed go in the kitchen and start making some sauce, and then he starts making sauce, and then customers were starting to go in there and everything, and um and um the Good Burger was from went was like right down here it went right up there when the sauce and um and um let's see what else um then Ed promptly signs a contract Dexter takes advantage of Ed's ability whatever to extort money from him so he could pay off his debt from the car accident sooner and then um he signs a contract to get that gives dexter 80 percent of the bonus he receives for his um s sauce and then he tells dex dexter tells ed not to tell tell um dexter tells ed not to tell him what to put in the sauce and um um sauce um because so they could save good burger and everything and um to not tell it to anybody and ed um the good burger sales were rising and draw the attention of kurt he wanted he wants it for mondo the fit the sauce for mondo burger i get and um Kurt was not happy at all. Um, um, and he's like, two days ago, we had Good Burger crushed. And he's like, I think it's the sauce. And he's like, duh, I know that. You think Kurt's stupid? And his henchman goes, mm -mm, I want Good Burger. I'd go find out what's in that sauce. And um, yeah, and, um, and um, the next day, they get a special delivery by um, Shaquille O'Neal. They had they had a good burger with good sauce on it delivered to um to Shaquille O'Neal while he was dur during an interview and um and he try and he tried it he tried the good burger tastes good and and um the news reporter going he's like he's like there you go there's Shaq enjoying some good food and and Cal's like hey look Dex we're on TV well I'm the good burger home of the good burger can I take your order I'm a dude he's a dude she's a dude cause we're all, and Kurt's watching at Mondo Burger he's frustrated he's kicking it he's like shut up shut up and he's like and he's like you're not so cool with your trash talk now huh he's like you got him that time boss and he's like 
what are we going to do, boss? The burger's twice as the size. Our burgers are twice. He's like, burgers are twice the size of good burgers. And Kurt got an idea. He goes, messages the kitchen. Kitchen. Yes, sir. Make our burgers bigger. Bigger. And Kurt's like, bigger, bigger, bigger. And he's like, let's see good burger goes go bur- go against burgers twice the size but then while well, ed then then that day ed um um ed was roller skating and then kurt's driving in his gmc yukon four-door sle my favorite body style at full-size pickup trucks and suv chevy and gmc's um ed saw ed he kurt accidentally hit him and then and then he's like, "You all right, bro?" And then Ed gives him, Kurt gives him a ride back to, and he's like, um, "He tried to lure and use Ed for a higher wage, so he can, um, so he can try to get his sauce." And um, and then when Ed got back to Good Burger, Dexter was not happy that he was riding in Kurt's car, and he's and he's like, "He's trying to use you. He wants your sauce." Do not tell him the su- because Good Burger will be in a lot of trouble if you if you give him a sauce and then, um, and then after that after Ed didn't refuse to work with Good Burger, uh, he sent an employee named Roxanne, played by Baywatch actress Babe Carmen Electra, um, after to go get his sauce. Um, and she was like, she was using him and everything. And he's like, um, like you are so hot. And he's like, I want you, Ed, and everything. They go on a date and everything. She's like injured, gets injured because Ed didn't know what he was doing. And um, like hits him in that golf ball. He hits and then hits her in the head. And then he tries, he pulls out. He tr- she tries to sit down. Then she accidentally fell on the floor. And he's like, "Her butt's okay." <laughs> yeah. The next day after she's on crutches and everything, um, she co- she tells she's like, "I quit." And then, and then the contract, um, the contract, Ed, um. Oh, and um, while well, Ed was on the date with Roxanne, Keenan's character Dexter and um, a, a girl he liked who worked at Good Burger, Monique, um, was on the date with them, and um, they had a good night. And um, Dexter put her, his coat around Monique while they were walking and everything. And until the next day, she says she found out about the con- the contract. And she was not happy, and she she did not want anything to do with him. She refu- and she was like, "How could you do that to such a sweet guy like Ed?" Um, she didn't want, and then um. She didn't want anything to do, and then there was a scene where, then the next scene where Dexter wanted to have a talk with Ed, and then, um, and then there was a dog refu- coming to let him know that the clown, the clown's car broke down and everything, and um, until a dog, Ed feeds um, the dog a good burger, but he refused to eat it, and then, um, then, um, then Dexter gives the dog a good burger he ate that and then they they became suspicious and they investigated and um they went into the mondo burgers kitchen and discovered that their burgers was um enhanced with artificial some called triambithol which was illegal and um it was an illegal food chemical and um and they were keenan and kel were dressed up like women to go in there and sneak and he's like and Kurt sneaks behind him, let him know, and um, they and the guy and um, 
And he's like, Triambathot is way illegal. And he's like, I'll tell you, makes burgers nice and normal. And Dexter's like, what happens to all those nice innocent people that when they find out, find your, eat your enormal burgers? Kurt going, uh-oh, don't care, ladies. And rips their clothes off. And they found out it was Keen, Ed and Dexter. And, Clo and they're like, in and until then, they got, they sent him, they said, send Ed and Dexter to a asylum called Demented Hills Mental Institution per, to prevent them from sharing their discovery. And then, until they sent him to a hot, and um, Ed bumps into a, meets a girl played by actress Linda Cardellini, who you may know in the live action Scooby Doo as Velma. Jinkies. Yep, but in this one, she's um a nutcase who broke in and freed the zoo and freed all the kangaroos. That's why she was in there, and and Ed and De Ed and her Heather was her name play by Linda Cardellini. Hold up, <coughs> Ed, Linda Linda Cardellini Heather. They shared their feelings for each other while Dexter was playing cards with somebody and um. And they're they're like and they're like touching. He's like uh, one got eating the cards. And he's like no. And he's like Ooh. he's like that's nasty. And um and then Kurt and his henchmen after they break in the good burger. Kurt and his henchmen break in a good burger like at midnight to sleep sleep bum to fight. They put a synthetic toxin in the Ed sauce called shark poison, and Otis caught them while he was sleeping there on the premises, catching them red, red-handed, causing yeah, and um, and Otis was like, "I was sleeping until you woke my butt off. What's that junk you're pouring in our sauce?" And Kurt's henchman's like, "Shut up, old man!" And Kurt going, "Don't be rude to the elderly." The old man asked us a question, and now it's called shark poison, and it's gonna make all your little good burger customers very, very sick. And um, Kenchman goes so sick that I doubt anybody will ever want to hear again. Otis saying he's gonna call the cops. They blocked him, and he's like, "You're not calling anyone." And um, they took Otis to the mental institution too, and um. Um, and he found Otis and Dexter and De and Otis had his, a thing on his mouth and, and Dexter going, Oh, I mean, Ed going, Otis, you came to visit. Dexter took, the, he's like, do I look like I came to visit? Where am I? What's good? And Dexter's like, why are you here? They kidnapped. And he's like, because I caught those little Mondo brats dumping shark poison in our sauce. Shark. And Ed's like, why do they want to harm those innocent sharks? And Dexter, I mean, Otis looking at him like he had seven heads. He's like, and he's Dexter going, forget about the sharks. That stuff's going to harm innocent people. They had to think of a way to get out of there. And, um, um, Kurt, dis um, Um, then that, and then Ed and Dexter, Ed and Dexter and Otis think of a way of breaking out of there so they could save Good Burger and, um, they start like a little dance craze and then they, they knock out the security guards so they could get the key and bust out until they, they hide in a room where they can find, where they can, um, um, um. Where they can escape, and um, Linda Cardellini, Heather helps them, helps them too, and um, until so they um, they find that big dude too, and everything that in that mental health jacket, that big guy, and he always goes like, mm, mm, mm. and um, he helped <laughs> until the deals door they couldn't break out because the doors, the windows were sealed and everything. The do windows were sealed and they were broken. Um, 
So they broke it, and um, the big mean get the big guy grabs Dexter by the cutback, and then just throws him out the window. But then the alarm goes off, of course, and then um, and then but then Otis goes, and then Ed shares one last goodbye with um, with Heather before they depart, and um, they go back, and then they run away, go back to Mondo. Go back to Good Burger to save it. Then they they find an ice cream truck. They start and then the ice cream truck owner, while he's giving ice cream to kids, and um, when he hears the truck starting, he's like, "What are you doing?" And Otis is like, "Stealing your truck." And Dexter's like, "Yeah, we'll bring it back." And they start driving uh, because the Demented Hills Mental Institution gang was chasing them in the mental ho- hospital truck, and then they start driving away and um. And then, um, but then they kept gaining on him. And then Ed was, and Dexter were throwing ice cream at the windshield and everything, which caused them to, uh, and then they ended up getting, then, then they ended up getting defeated and everything. And, um, and, um, but they arrived just in time at Good Burger to, they knocked over an old lady after she ate it, tried to eat the Good Burger. Ed's like, no. Ed, she's screaming, and Ed's Ed just knocked out like, oh, like that, and 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 she's scream, and and Mr. Bailey's like, Mr. Bailey is like, Ed, get off of her, and Dexter's like, what? Ed, Ed, you okay? And he's like, yeah. He's like, I tackle some old lady, and they're like, good. And Mr. Bailey's like, excuse me, can you tell me why this is a good thing? And Dexter's like, this is why. The holding the good burger. He's like, this is why Mondo Burger poisoned our sauce. He's like, how could Mondo Burger poison our sauce? He's like, we'll explain to you later. Right now, stop eating that. Preventing everyone from eating that sauce and just call the cops. Then him and Ed they go to Mondo Burger to get a can of Triamblethal. They sneak in in Mondo Burger. Um, and Dexter creates a distraction. Ed he go Dexter goes to get a um. While Dexter creates a distraction to get the Mondo Burger and pull, and um chasing him and Ed takes a can of Triamblethal and he clumsily knocks another one into the meat grinder he pours another one in the meat grinder and um and then they Kurt and his gang corner Dexter on the roof and he's like your game's over and Dexter's like my yeah your game's over because my buddy Ed's on his way to the police station with your can of illegal triambathaw ha and he and Dex Ed said um Ed um took the can of triangle thaw and it was he showed him the triangle thought and he's like until he, they found out it was a it was an empty can and and kurt's like this can's empty stole an empty can and dexter's like ed you stole an empty can and ed's like it wasn't empty when i found it and then and then he mocked it whereupon um mondo burger then starts collapsing everything and um, everything, the whole like shaking, vibrating, and then everybody, all the people start leaving, like exiting, running out for their lives fast, and everything. And um, Kurt, and then Kurt and his gang, they go, they go, they made it to the kitchen and everything, and they knew the grill was, and then a big burger just exploded, meat all over them, and everything. Everybody, um. Everybody um, vacated the building and everything, and um, while it was collapsing and everything, and then as the burgers begin, yep, and then a large artificial burger on the top of the building, as you would see in the movie, um, um, in the movie on the Bondo Burger building um, by the drink cut. Um, um, the burger falls on Mr. Wheat's Simbad's car, his newly repaired car, and then, and he's like, I might die. <laughs> and then Kurt's taken to jail and everything. Mondo Burger's out of business, and um, <laughs> and um, while they're cuffing cops, are cuffing Kurt. He's going to jail. Um, 
and um, they're putting Kurt in the cop car, and and they both and Ed and Dexter were like bye bye, and then they're like, remember when you mess with Good Burger, you go in the grinder, and you're like you enjoy prison, and they're like Kurt's going to jail, Kurt's going to jail, Kurt's going, and um, and then um, and then. Dexter gives Mr. Wheat the money of half of his money that he owed him for um for his his car for his car repair and he's like in, and um Ed and Dexter um had a talk and talking about how Ed planned the um about about what he did about pouring the meat into the meat supply and everything the chemicals and he's like and the way America's court system is congested these days saying about Kurt would have had to hire some high power attorneys would have disputed him from any charges and then but then Ed and Dexter remained buddies and then Dexter said I no longer need the contract he tears it up and then he he gets to keep all the profits from his sauce and then there's still buds and and then they head back to Good Burger where everybody's giving them their, they grab it and they put them on top and he, they're like, Ed, Ed, Ed for saving Good Burger and everything. And, um, and putting a crime figure, Kurt in jail. And, and, um, and, um, in the end, and then Kurt, uh, and then Ed said this in the end, he's like, there's only one thing left to say. Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. Can I take your order? And, um, the end credit has that song, um, which was played during the the new Ed Sauce thing, um, um, performed by Kel Mitchell called, and that group called Less Than Jay called I'm a Dude, He's a Dude, She's a Dude, because we're all dudes. <laughs> Even though this movie didn't really do too good from critics, I'd give this, I'd give this a th- Three and a half out of four stars. It's a pretty good movie. Um, 60 second preview preview said it's a very funny movie. I agree with that. Um, According to Kids News Network, Good Burger rocks with good fun and rolls with a lot of laughs. I have no problem with this movie at all. But um, it didn't really make a lot of movies, a lot of money... um, um money in the box office um it made about like i said it made about um 8.5 million at the box office um Yeah, I'm looking at this and um, did it didn't do good as good like Men in Black, The Lost World, Jurassic Park, Liar Liar with Jim Carrey or and Batman and Robin did pretty good at the box office. That Batman and Robin with George Clooney that one of the worst Batman movies I've ever seen. I did not like that movie at all. Um. So it could it could have done better, but I still think it was pretty good. I like the music, I like the characters, um But Keenan and Cal were my were my ch- was my childhood. I used on all that, Keenan and Cal figure it out. Even um I like remember Josh Server, Danny Tamborelli, Amanda Bynes. I'm not too pleased with Amanda Bynes today. Um, and I guess she's starting to clean up now. But she, I hope she is. She was one of my crushes back in the day. Um, but I really think it could have done better from critic. I I really like this movie a whole lot. Um. Um, I 
there was a book Aladdin published book called Aladdin Paperbacks. They published a children's novel, Good Burger to Go, as a sequel to the film. The book written by Stephen Ho- Steve Holland featured Ed following a short change customer around the globe. Um, and even after the movie and all and the get like all that and everything, um, Keenan and Cal made a Good Burger sketch on the Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. Um, um, in tw- in 2015, and um, and they they were there have been talks a while about a Good Burger too in the moment, but um, they Keenan, Cal and Keenan said um they were stated for. A note for uh, they were open for a potential sequel or reboot, but then um, per, in December of 2021, the director of the film and current CEO of Paramount Pictures, Brian Robbins, revealed he wanted to create an animated series based on Good Burger for the Paramount streaming service and hopes Thompson and Keenan and Kel involved at involved the same capacity. Mitt Kel said. Expo- expressed an interest in reviving Good Burger due to his youngest son being a fan of the film, he said. And um, But I gotta tell you, if they make another Good Burger or anything, it won't be as good as the the one on on all, the ones on the on the original All That with them, and it won't be as good as the movie. And I think this movie deserves more than what critical praise and what it's got. Um, even especially due to the fact that this movie was rushed. Rushed filming. Because the movie was um, filmed during um, Mar- between March to April 97. And the movie was released in on July 25th of that year. And I think... And I heard stories about with Keenan's character. They're going to use an all that character on in this movie called Ishbu. I've heard rumors about that. I don't know if it's true or not, but yep, it, I liked all the characters in this movie. Um, Ron Lester was in it. May he rest in peace. Um, he played Spatch. The the he was not a people person. There was a scene where he's um had a fly on him and hits it, and he's with his spatula. And he's like, I was like. He was best known in Varsity Blues as Billy Bob, the big football player with that big monster pickup truck. Billy Bob. Yep, may he rest in peace. And But I got to tell you, the actors in this were good. I think Keenan and Kel did a good job in the movie as well as they did on the... Um, um, I didn't see Keenan in much on the all that um, Good Burger skits, um, but I think... Cal did it. Cal Mitchell did a pretty good job on this, in the skits, in the skits and in the movie as well. It was a great movie, and this movie also had Lori Beth Denberg in it. She played um Connie. Um, she was all she was doing very talkative woman. Ed was looking at her like, like she was like, my name's Connie Muldoon, and like he couldn't stand her and she was she worked with Keenan and Kel on all that I remember and figure it out um I remember her as Miss Fingerly and everything I remember and um even that loud librarian when she's like she always make noise she's always like to the people in the library she's like quiet this is a library <sighs> crazy good old 90s nick So, that's all I have to say about Good Burger. I think it deserves better, though. I really do. And if you have never seen Good Burger before, you should go see it. I think it's on Paramount Plus. Let me check. Let me. I'm glad I got, I'm on my lap. It's, I don't think it's on Paramount Plus, but it's on, um, um, it's on YouTube. You could for now. Na- for now, you can watch it on YouTube for free. So if you've never seen the movie before, go see it. If you have it on DVD or Blu-ray, 
whatever or on digital Amazon you could go it's a great I'm telling you if you watch this movie you'll like it all right YouTube if you're a fan of 90s like Nickelodeon stuff and you've never seen Good Burger you should go see it it's funny all right YouTube nice seeing you take it easy be safe and stay out of trouble peace